Hi Ben, I'm going to give you a little bit of an overview of how the RDF fits in my pit area. Um, so, let's see, my overall pit area is uh, four and a half feet this direction wide and it's eight and a half feet long. Um, so I'm going to step out a second and climb the ladder. Okay, here we go. All right, so it is about, uh, like I said, about uh, sitting in there like that. And the inlet pipes are uh, going into this end. You can see one of them is capped and three of them are open. And um, one of them, uh, I'll explain more about them here in a second. But anyway, this pit is only uh, four and a half feet wide and eight and a half feet long. So let me get back down in there. Okay. So right here is the bottom drain line and then it forks. And right now I have it going over here to a sieve. Although the sieve is off right now, I don't have it running since it's winter. Um, I have a gate valve there. And then that same line comes over this way and goes I can flush it by pulling that valve into the into the sump. Um, so uh, I used to have it going into the RDF, and for reasons I told you before, um, I like to keep bigger waste going to the sieve instead. Um, this line coming in here, and it goes over this way and up and in. That is a midwater drain, and this line right here that goes on out goes to the skimmer. And then this three inch line that I added later is a second line that goes to the skimmer and it goes around this way and I have it coming in uh, that end over there. So I actually have two skimmer lines, a four and a three inch, and then the one mid, mid uh, water drain. And there is my pump. It's an 85, ES8500. I have a leaf basket in front of it. Um, and I have it valved back just a little bit right now um, and it goes out into the shower and then each of these lines one two three four are two inch return lines coming out of the Zaki shower that's on the other side of that wall and let's see okay so uh, to give you a uh, measurement I am um, four inches away from the wall of the and it is, uh, I have this pipe right here though. So what I do it with the lid is I prop it with just a piece of PVC. I just put it on that little hump and then stick it up inside there and that holds it open. You can see all this time it's just been quiet. Um, the water, I don't know if you can get a feeling for it going through there. You can kind of see the ripples but it's uh, really moving through there. It looks like it's calm and like it's not really moving. Uh, on this side, you can't see much of anything. It's just passing through. Um, I could definitely turn it up faster if I wanted to, but I'm gonna have it cycle here. I'll just, uh, when the water level goes down lower and lower, it cycles and you know this starts dropping as the water level gets lower. I'll artificially do it by pushing it. Here's what it's like. Now let go of it. And when that happens, uh, usually the water level comes up some, and uh, there's water going in, coming out of this this pipe. That's uh, that's the drain line. It goes there and, and comes out into the sump. So uh, that's where that goes. And here is the, I don't know if you can see very well, but that is the UV going in. And then over here is a place where you can have a, um, an intake for a pump that instead of your um, house, you can have an actual pump that pumps the spray bar, that powers the spray bar. And so that would be that would be the intake for the pump. I've modified and put this little deal on there. 
um, it's just like a standpipe and and I just put this on it I have it off right now but I can dribble water for a constant water change in there and it's and it just goes right into the uh, RDF water so um, let's see what else can I tell you about it so I don't really need this much room at all um, oh here's my tape measure but just to give you an idea, from the RDF out to, you know, uh, just sort of a straight downturn on a four inch line was is a right around 22 inches um, to leave some room. And of course, you wouldn't have to orient the valve that way, but if, if you do, then say three feet away from the wall wouldn't be bad. And actually, it's not bad either because to have maybe three feet on this side just to allow room, because you have to slide that uh, UV crystal tube out um, from under there, um, back out this way. On the other side, right now, I am only 14 and a half inches from that wall. And I have, I have a separate UV right here on the ground. It's kind of in a awkward place. Um, this is Right here is the pump that usually drives uh, the sieve, and then these are lines all going back out to the pond here. So let's see. On this end, um, this closest black line is just a—it's this right here, this overflow waste line. So if if the water in here rises too high, say because of a big rain or something, water leaks out right here instead of overflowing the edge of the box and let's see um, okay it's a good idea to have a valve before you get to the pump and that back inlet right there is um, usually where you hook up one pump if you hook it up so that water's going out the back corner of the box but you could I just have this one covered with a fern co but you could have two pumps and have one on each if you wanted to and you can see the little uh, grass fitting there that is now hooked up to our house water so that's how it's powered is by water pressure from the house right there um, and where I did mine um, you can see down there at uh, branches I have one branch that comes off and it makes my constant water change and I can, of course, valve it off if I want to. Um, and the other one goes here and goes in and connects with the house. I also have a hose. A hose is really a handy thing if you haven't thought of that already or uh, in the pit. Just, just good to wash things off and all that kind of thing. Um, and so just a little more panorama. It's a fairly tight pit, but it's... Uh, it could actually be smaller and still have room for the, this RDF. I have a pretty low pitched roof. I it made it to look like a like a storm cellar on an old house, so I just have this sloped um, ceiling. So okay, hopefully uh, this will help um, give you some more idea of how I did mine at least, and and be interested to see how you do yours. Thanks.